here. What's up everybody, it's your favorite party dude's favorite nerd. And today we are looking at the NECA one quarter scale Michelangelo, the last of the set, the last of the collection for me, as far as I'm intending. I guess unless they do a splinter. And today we are looking at the NECA one quarter scale Michelangelo. Really anxious to look at this guy so I can get him on my shelf, show you all four together. So with that being said, let's take a look at the accessories. So of course he comes with a wide assortment of hands. One nunchuck holding hand for his left. One thumbs up hand for his left. One pizza holding hand for his right. One nunchuck holding hand for his right. One pizza holding hand or pork rind hand, and that kind of goes for these two as well for his right. And then one thumbs up hand for his right as well. All the detailings are the same, and we'll talk about them when we get the robot. <laughs> All the detailings are the same, and we'll talk about that when we get to looking at the figure. Ah, fellow chucker, eh? He comes with two sets of nunchucks, and they are a plastic with, it's, it's like a heavy dr random dry brush accent is what they use to kind of detail them with the darker brown it ends up looking good and then a string it seems like a single string that's double backed on itself to cause the two loops which ends up looking good as well and he comes with two of those he can hold them in his hands and if you want you can kind of keep him tucked in the side of his belt between the shell and the belly and that goes for upside down as well he comes with a slice of pizza. Cody, what do you feel about pizza? I don't like it. Get out of it. He doesn't like it. He's the only person in the world that doesn't like pizza. The British, right? Fish and chips. Get that out of here. Anyway, it's detailed the same way. We have a red wash on the brown for the crust to illustrate the, the kind of sauce up into the crust. It looks great. Some red paint down the side, once again, for the sauce. The cheese is painted and then washed. Then we have the sausage and olives and uh, green peppers all painted. Looks tremendous. The bottom of it is all dry brush with a darker brown, which ends up giving it a little extra detail. He can hold it in this hand with a bit of gravity and a bit of tension. And he can also hold it in the alternative hand much better with tension and the same with gravity. He also comes with a pack of pork rinds, which I think is awesome. I think that it, like we kind of got used to how they were doing business you know, with accessories, and it's nice to see something new. It says a tasty but never wasty treat, and then it has a little pizza guy up there. Pork, fried pork rinds. Uh, flavored with salt and on the back we have all sorts of stuff I can't see that close so I don't know what it says but it is a nice accessory it's a plastic bag and it seems like it's got some sort of um, like like a spongy type material inside to kind of give it a little bit of depth and he can hold that in the tighter hand but not so much in the more open or relaxed hand. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you can get it with gravity. You just have to be a bit more careful. Let's talk about the figure. So it's sort of the same approach. There might be little small alterations with sculpt. It's more of a retooling. People have been saying on my previous one that it's completely re-sculpted. I would wage to guess that it's just more of a retool, slightly different musculature and vasculature nature, but overall pretty much the same build as the other four, which I will be organizing into a playlist so that you can look at the review of all four. That being said, the head sculpt is very specific. So you're getting the smiley Michelangelo. I think most of us are okay with that. It's okay itself. I wish you could get a little bit more articulation out of it so you get his head down a bit, but it is on a ball peg. You can get up to there, down to there, which is really nothing, and then a swivel. Orange paint that's washed for the mask. The eyes have a glossy nature to them. We have the white, the black, and the brown for the detailings on the eyes. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. I hope that gets you a better picture. And then for the mouth... I've seen that they did the upper teeth, which sometimes they've been known to do. We have the teeth that are painted and washed and the tongue that's painted and washed. So that looks good. For the skin texture, we're going to talk about it once. And that is to say it is a green plastic. It looks like it is dry brushed or airbrushed with a lighter shade of green. And then we have all the shading done with a darker green. And then we have the accent spots of the kind of... I don't know if you're called age spots or whatever, the dark green and the brown. So they pretty much do the brown circle and then they do the black. I mean, I'm sorry, the dark green circle inside the brown circle, which ends up making it have that look. It's a great look. It's worked for all four equally as well. And it works for this one just the same. And we have a little bit of brown accents kind of added in. Really nicely done. The same as the other four have been in that regard. Let's talk about a few other accents before we move along. 
the space between the belly and the shell is done with this, uh, I'm guessing it's a darker brown with a heavy dry brush of a beige to bring out all those details. Looks great and we have some sculpted detail in there as well. The shell, we have this, I think it's a darker brown and then dry brush with the, with the uh, kind of the mid shade brown. They've done kind of the same approach for all four and they all four look equally as good. All of the uh, pads and stuff are done to different variations, but they're all kind of done the same way with the darker brown and then a lighter shade of brown dry brushed over top. And then all the stitching is done independently as well as the stitching and buttons and such in the belt itself with a silver paint. So that also goes for the elbow pads and the wrist pads, which are done the same way, except they have a slightly more orange tone added to just the elbows, which I don't know if we've seen before, but it ends up looking great. It's on the knees as well. The belly is done with this, I think this is like painted yellow and then a wash of brown is what it looks like to me, but it's really difficult to tell. And then the space between the shell and the kind of flesh tone is a green with a brown and darker green wash, at least that's the way it looks. Really, really, really well done. And for those that have been concerned, my bandana or uh, mask is all threaded properly and it does rotate. All in all, very well done. So we have, they're basically ball pegs. Uh, no, I'm sorry, they're basically disc hinges that come out to here. So just shy of 90 degrees. You can get a bit across the chest, which is nice. Bicep swivel, single hinged elbow that gets you Actually, it might be double. It's double jointed elbow, but it still gets you less than 90 degrees because of this wrap. And then we have the wrist swivel and hinge in out for another set of holding hands. So it's just for different variations of the nunchucks. And just to be sure and just to be clear, he holds those as well in that set of hands. So it does seem a little bit of kind of redundant, but I guess we'll let it slide. We have the soft goods for the bandana, which I've been a fan of from the beginning. I know not everybody feels the same way, but I dig it personally. We have what seems like a ball peg here from the upper body inside of the shell. It pretty much just gets you a rocker. The swivel is kind of done down here with the, with the thighs, just kind of rotating around the thighs in order to get the swivel that you would possibly want. So the articulation is the same for the other side. There might be actually a swivel up inside of there between the torso, like the chest and abdomen and the pelvis, which is nice. For the thighs, there are universals on a soft ratchet. You get all the way out to there, which is actually quite nice. If you rotate the thigh, ooh, it's a ratchet and it gets you out to there. So that's good as well. It's a really tight ratchet, be mindful. We have a thigh swivel. We have what feels like, I don't know, let me see. It might be double jointed, but it gets you just shy of 90 degrees. Ankles seem to be on a, a ball peg on a hinge. Ankle tilt down to there, up to there, and then rocks slightly to the inside. We have the light green nails both on the feet and the hands, but the hands, it seems like get an extra coat of green wash, which does look nice. So all in all, just the same kind of styling, detailing, and attention to detail that we've seen with the others, and overall, another a nice addition. And size comparison-wise, this is just one of those things. This is one of those things where collecting something for over a year just pays off, and you have all four together, and they look absolutely tremendous and they're gonna stop everybody that comes in through this door and instantly notice them. Fantastic set of turtles. I am 100% satisfied. Final thoughts wise, unfortunately, like for us as collectors, this is the one that kinda hit the stride. I feel like this is the one where the articulation does work a bit better as an action figure. This is probably the best one. And I do feel like because of that, because we've kind of been retooling the same molds, it would have been nice to get a, an alternate face because it is kind of hard to get him into the action pose and then make the face be taken seriously. So that's my only complaint. Otherwise, I feel like this is NECA learning from their mistakes from prior releases. 
I feel like a lot of people give NECA a pass. I'm not one of those guys. I treat NECA like I treat every other company, and this is one where I feel like NECA actually got the job done, and they got the job done fairly well. My only complaint is I wish they would have given us an alternate head. I feel like it would have been a nice little treat after buying the same mold, basically with a few retools four times for 100 bucks. But don't sleep on this set. This guy did. That being said, I feel like the 100 bucks is well spent with great paint, great articulation, and great accessories. Could have used one or two more, but overall, I think it's really well done, and I highly recommend you pick up this set. It's one of the, my most favorite displays in my entire collection, and not only mine, but my wife's, and that's a fact. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. <laughs>